Definitely. I mean, we see the x Borg ban once again. I feel I feel like Onik did that last time, not uh, AP Brim. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's still a good go. Well, and the x Borg would have been a decent answer to the Faramines as well. Onik has already picked up a few with the Minotaur and the Lilia. Um, they opt to go for the Brody here instead of the Claude. Um, which, okay. I mean, the Brody does pass a punch. Yeah, definitely a little interesting. I mean, it's not a horrible pick. Definitely needs some scale. I mean, it definitely needs, a, like, Brody has kind of the snowball effect. I think if Brody mm -hmm. dies, too, if Brody gets picked off in early game, it can be a very rough game for Brody. If Brody picks up a kill or two in the early game, um, he can be very deadly. I could see it. I could see it. I, I feel like our, what is AP Bryn's response, right? Like, I mean, to be honest. Whatever they want. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they oh want, God. man. <laughs> Whatever they want. This is their game. <laughs> nah, I, I mean, the Claude, the the Carrion, and the Angela. Oh, huh. man. They're getting spicy. spicy. Support yeah. Angela. Mid Faramis or support Faramis. Mid Angela. Mm. Putting a lot on the line. I mean, I, my guess is it's going to end up being a uh, a mid mid Fermi's because eventually Fermi's damage does get pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, it's a sustainability on this team right now, and just the it's combinations ungodly. of the Angela Basha, Angela CC, Angela Carry, all of it looks good right now. Onik picks up another big AOE hero, trying to counteract everything that AP Bren is going to bring. Yeah, I think they're really focusing on like the speed aspect, especially with the Angela and the Bashia. I mean, you can already see a lot of Onyx like team comp relies on like hitting your target, right? And I guess if target's not there to hit, like it's going to be a little bit harder uh, to go about. And I feel like that's what the Lilia is going to have a hard time on. But again, I mean, it's a fair miss. You got an Angela like uh you're gonna i feel like if i was on it like i need to start baiting out utilities left and right when i can most definitely and now with it the wait is finally over we're gonna be jumping into match point and like you said the draft i think a big win con for the side of onik here is gonna be some early game aggression. Um, mm -hmm. You got a pretty squishy mid side on the side of AP Bren, right? You just you have an you don't have a big heavy roam. You've got a Fermis and an Angela. On the other hand, look at Onik, and they've got the Minotaur and the Lilia. We know how deadly this combination can be. We saw it from Fireflux before. It's one of the ways that they won their games. Um, it is definitely something that you can get into the face of your enemies. And Onik needs to make sure that just because they took some harsh losses, they you know they got taken advantage of in game one and two, they need to not be scared to get aggressive because I think that could be huge for them here, trying to immediately shut down the pace of AP Brent. True, true. And uh, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. And we will find out as uh, I think we're going to be diving into the land of dawn after we look at the crowd for one final last time. Possibly. 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 <laughs> possibly. <laughs> look at the, I can't, is the crowd like mixtures of happy? Shout out to sad? Musa Mafia. Yeah. I'm pretty sure those are. I'm pretty sure those are chat chat people's names, like people's names um, above the robots. That is games of future cool. is calling is calling you all bots right now. That guy is cheesing. That guy is cheesing. He's, he's feeling good. He's ready for the game. I'm ready for the game. Insane. Hopefully we didn't jump right into a pause. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Poss possibly taking our time. <laughs> <laughs> this arena is massive. <laughs> this arena is pretty massive. We need some more seats full, though, man. Where's all the Bob? We got Reza, Farizi. Look at that guy. These guys, I love okay. how these guys take each other out at the same exact time. We're back. Oh, Back on screen, baby. We're the arena. What's up, guys? <laughs> Want to go, bro? <laughs> Beside you? <No. laughs> I mean, we would be battling on the mid there. Apparently, the arena the mid. is mid lane only. Mid lane, everybody goes mid. Everybody goes mid. Yeah. It's like uh, it's like a uh, brawl. It's like a brawl. Yeah. Big brawl battle. It's gonna be more of like a, a ranked brawl, but yeah. Ranked but. brawl. Yeah, ranked brawl. Ranked. Brawl. But what? You thought we were about to jump from the land of dawn? Nope. <laughs> we saw the portal. You thought. <laughs>
The notifications are going off the chart. Oh, hey! first blood! First blood! Woo! 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 Let's go, baby! Here we go! <laughs> well, that's For the love of God, I'm about to toss my chair around. That's what I'm talking about, boys. <laughs> Onik also starting off aggressive. First blood onto Oakwin already. Ah, uh, let's get it. Let's get it. First blood onto Onik. Who got it though? The sign. Okay, okay. The Lily. Let's get it. <laughs> mid lane. Mid lane slaying. All right, I like yeah, it. We're, so we're, we're about to get wild, ladies in, and gentlemen. I'm telling you. <laughs> last day of the grand finals. Let's Games see of here. future, baby. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. We can see. Let's let's take a look at some of the wind conditions here, right? So I think really what's coming down is that Oogwin ended up getting taken out, right? Early stage. That's a little rough for an Angelo, but not going to be the make it or break it for Team Comp. Uh, I mean, Cal TC's level three. While we're looking at Kyrie's level four, so we're already seeing a, a little bit of a jungle difference for the side of Onik, which is good, right? I mean, you got 14 seconds till the next turtle, but that's what you. Want to see into the early stage and when you're dealing with a Bosch uh, that's just, that's just what you want to you want to do you want to out jungle him because he has a lot of pressure most definitely but AP brand not trying to let up a little bit of death through boots able to get a bit of damage on a flap TZ there but Sans also taking a face full of yo-yos back of the turtle Kyle TZ able to take it right out of Kyrie's hands well played from AP Brent, keeping himself in the game, and that's what they do. Even when they're behind, they make sure that they get the objective where they need it to make sure the gold doesn't get too far away. Yeah, and so what I'm really seeing right now is that everybody's roughly about even, right? I mean, first turtle, what is that, going over to the side of Onik? First turtle, no, it. over the side of AP Brent. Over the side of AP, AP Brent. AP Brent, okay, so Retri. Retro was able to be landed. AP Brin coming out on top there. And I think this is what was happening in the last game, right? Like, it was just a little bit hard for Kyrie to hit these retries, and I'm not quite sure what could be causing that. I mean, AP just able to zone and properly keep them at bay. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be a little bit of a trouble for Onyx. Now, Onyx side, right? They, they have the sustainability. They have, like you were saying, I mean, I... They have damage. I just don't know if it's going to be enough to penetrate a fair miss uh, cult alter. And I'm not even quite sure if it's going to be able to get past the Angela, right? Like, I just feel like the whole comp of AP Bryn is thick. Like, look. Yeah, a little bit of a play up top. Boots in a bit of trouble here. Going to go down. Flap TZ able to pick up the kill. Now, on the side of Onik, they got to respond. 1-1. One, one. AP Bryn has... Taking the gold lead. Is this the Bren effect? Is this the the switch that flips? I think this is the 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 switch that gets flipped. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. <laughs> that was a tongue. I was like, hold up. Like, what did you just say? Yeah, it was Listen, We've been a here a while. Twister. It's zero IQ deaths right now. We're on the zero IQ yeah. desk. We're vibing. We're feeling it. Let's go. We're, we're just we're just vibing at this point 100 percent we can already see i like this right from the side of onyx they're, they're already setting up this turtle but they have to be able to secure this turtle let's see a Kyrie. <sighs> Kyrie so they get it trying to get the zone onto flap tz kyle tz though <laughs> making his way around boots looking for an angle as well able to dash through kyle tz comes in but no fury connects and the flicker gets the knock up keyboy able to pull another Keyboard. one but the damage is shredding him down boots gonna be the next to fall super marco picking up the kill Kyrie able to take it though they're trying to fight back albert in the backside doesn't have the torn apart memories anymore it's two for one right now onik finds the turtle but loses the extra member i mean not ah uh... I mean, not too bad. We can kind of look at what the engage entailed here. The Minnow's Rage with a flicker definitely secured quite a bit of CC for the side of Onik, but then the final slash connects. And then, of course, the Torn Apart memories just take down AP Brin little by little, and Albert was able to take out Kaltizi. I feel like that was the, the grace that they can get. That's a little bit of the breathing room Onik needed, and that just 
uh, that just slows down the enemy jungle a little bit. And Bashia is able to just jungle crazy. We can kind of take a look at some of the items. Molten Core is picked up by both jungles, which are clutch. And then you're also looking at Albert already has the Blade of Hep, which is just insane first poke damage. So again, on it could be doing a little bit of uh a little bit of peel here we can already see it's 2v2 in the gold lane i think the brody right now is definitely winning against the carry but i think super marco is definitely going to be coming out on top when it comes into the mid to late game but we'll see i think it's going to come down to key boy just giving that pressure and helping his gold lane all right now both teams still making work AP Bren has definitely bought some time. You mentioned that, and I think that's exactly what they needed. Super Marco getting plenty of time to scale. Flap TZ already having the War Axe in, not having to go super defensive in the beginning, kind of like what we saw for Boots previously when he had to pick up the Dread ar not Armor before he got the War Axe. Um, this means that Flap TZ is going to be able to kind of play the front line, and when you have something like the Faramis paired up with you, that you can just hang out even longer and just continuously harass with that skill, it's, it becomes a problem. But second turtle, now, or third turtle now in, we're six minutes in. Gold still at an immediate tie. They're looking for Flap TZ here. Albert able Ooh, to get nice a couple speed. of free shots here. Key boy with Ooh. the Minoan Fury once again gets knocked up with another realm. Connects Kyrie, able to take the turtle. Harkar does lock on to Flap Teasy. He's gonna be able to unload. A little bit of damage. The Torpar Memories comes off, but still no kills for the side of Onik. AP Brent able to disengage well. Neither team losing a member. They're definitely holding on very well, though. You can already see. I love the read by Super Marco. Uh, that must have just been flap teasy that was able to give that call out. But it, it is again going to give up the turret here. From the side of Onik, they need to keep this pressure going. Like they're, they're able to secure neutral objectives. They've taken a tower already, which I think they just need to continue that focus. And if they can continue that, then AP Brand will be kind of pushed back against the wall. Now, what I think really coming in on AP Brand's side is that they are kind of lacking a little bit of damage. It could be that we see the Faramis going with a quantum charge, which is a little interesting for a mid lane, I would say. Just looking to be engaging and being in the battle. So I think they're really relying on Super Marco, which, again, I mean, he's won zero and one. He could still get there, but I think it's going to come into the mid to late game. I mean, if AP Bren gets the time, Top they lane. will definitely become a problem. A little bit of damage on Flap TZ. Ooh. A nice knockup, but the heart guard comes in in the nick of time, but Albert gives him a face full of torn apart memories. Onik finally starting to have the advantage in the map, but they still have to be careful. As we always say, AP Bren could make the strike at any moment. Yeah, but I, I love that they're going back to the fundamentals, right? Like they're just securing neutral objectives, taking towers, because I felt like maybe they listened to us. Like they just weren't securing towers in the first and second game. And we're seeing that time around towers don't always mean wins, but it also allows you to punish a team when they overextend during Lord fights and, you know, other things like this. But this is where AP Britain normally flicks the switch. So this is where we're going to have to watch out. First Lord is here. Can AP, AP Britain flick the switch tracks? We'll see. It's definitely a possibility. Super Marco hasn't taken a death, can still pack a punch. The only problem is AP Brent doesn't have that much. Oh my God, never mind. I was going to say not that much damage, but look at Flap Teasy shredding down Son. Son's forced to use the black shoes before the Lord fight. Lord down about 20%. Here comes an Owens Fury, the flicker once again, every time, time after time. Onik now trying to clean up a Keyboy, goes down few, able to pick up the kill. Albert going to be next, but he finds a kill on a Kyle Teasy just in time. Kyrie able to take the Lord, Kyrie got the Lord. but he loses two members. <laughs> Three members make it. AP Bren standing kind of on top. I think it could be a one because they're going to get a tower here. Onik, yes, they get the Lord, but at what cost? 
Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see at what cost the final slash did come out, and it kind of offset AP Bryn there. Torn Apart Memories definitely took them down low. I think they kind of, like, tunnel-focused right there, and then they forgot that Kyrie was in the center of board pit and was still there, and he was low HP. They could have definitely jumped on him, so a little bit of a mistake by AP Bryn. I mean, they were able to take out uh, Albert, but again, they lost the Lord, took a mid tower. They need to kind of focus up and take the left and uh, right tower as well. Looks like they might be trading the mid tower here as they're trying to come in to save it. Yeah, Onik wants to go for it. They've lost their whole mid. So their side is honestly a bit more open in a sense. They need to try to crack this tier oh, three. God. It's going to be huge for them <laughs> since they've taken so much on the sides. Um, it's it's going to be, if they can crack that tier 3, it definitely opens things up because right now they're still stuck in the bottleneck of rotating around the map. The moment they get that, it gives them a lot more freedom to be the aggressive team that they want to be. I feel like what's causing a real problem for AP Bryn at this point is that Lilia's Ice Queen one. Like, it's just slowing down the team to a crawl, and it's allowing Albert to scale. Now, he did take a death there, and you can kind of see I like this. They're focusing now on the turrets. I mean, there's not much else on the map to kind of focus on, kind of put a little bit of pressure, but you got to remember that you're missing towers as well, so overextending could be a little bit of a problem and something that Ana can capitalize on we'll see uh, 65 seconds to the next lord it's wild i mean at this point onik has to be careful still flap tz is becoming a menace we saw the damage that flap tz did able to get the kill on albert earlier able to keep sans away positioning is going to be key and they got to catch they got to catch flop tz because he's the he's the big damage dealer right now and i think what they're doing is they're using that minoan's fury to make sure that Kyrie secures the lord which is important mm -hmm. it is huge but if they continue to not catch some of the damage dealers of ap bren they're going to continue Ooh. to shred and look at that cc cc should not be allowed in this game she's a monster right now once she gets <laughs> war axe in it's just ridiculous yeah, I, I, I don't know. I've never been beat up by a yo-yo, but I can only imagine it would <laughs> be a little rough. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, kind of looking at AP Bryn, they're taking it slow this time around. Again, trying to be calculated. The next Lord is up. This one, if I'm not mistaken, should be a little enhanced. So this is something that AP Bryn's going to want to get. And Onik is definitely going to gonna get. So we got to watch out for Key Boy. His positioning in that middle's rage has been the key factor for Onyx plays right here. But if they're able to whittle him down and maybe make a different play, we could see something big here. Yeah, the Key Boy is kind of switching it up a little bit, trying to give Sans a little mm -hmm. bit of space. He's going to get pulled back in. Kyrie and Kyle TZ, foes of their time, facing off on this Lord again, Oakwin. See, here's the great She's thing about the pushing. Angela, right? Yeah, <laughs> because she can hard guard at any moment and be in the fight, and that's one of the tough things about going against an Angela, is you constantly have to worry about that, because Angela doesn't really have to be in the uh -oh. 5v5 until she pops the heart guard. Onik, gonna reset, reset the, the Lord. Lord, Kyle TZ, making an engage, Kyrie, Able to get the taunt, out comes the Ooh. Nether Realm. That could be huge. Black shoes for, for Sans. A little more damage. Oh, Ooh. there's the flicker. Can they catch one? Not yet. Flap TZ does get the heart guard. They're looking for a little bit more damage. Onyx still taking the slow, but minions are on their inhibitor in the bot lane. Someone's got to go back, and they choose to make it Sans. Kyrie going to try to make his way in. Kyle TZ there as well. Heart guard going to be gone. No Nether Realm for the side of AP Bren either. Still several ults for the side of Onyx. I think they need to maybe try to force this now before the clocks start ticking and the cooldowns are up. But Onyx doesn't want to rush this. They don't want to force it. Yeah, I, what it seems like is that they're just buying time at this point just to be able to push towers in against Onik. And Onik, I mean, they are, you know, pushing the lanes in as well. Left lanes kind of push pretty far for them, but I feel like their control, AP Brent's controlling the lanes a little bit better. Lord kind of low. Are they going to be able to opt to, to reset it or not? 
Oh, the Kyle TZ takes this Lord. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. He gets stunned. A final slash pushes him to the side. Can they do it? Keeble Keep actually going. able to take it with no one's fury. But AP Bren, not quite done yet. Still unloading. Finally, Flap TZ goes down. He's been a nuisance to the team for a while. But now Keyboy goes one for one. Onik finally coming out on top in a Lord fight. I mean, right now we're definitely seeing. <laughs> I can't believe Keyboy ended up getting that Lord. Both retries weren't available. <laughs> but hey, I mean, that's a win for the side of Onik, right? They're able to utilize and enhance Lord, keep them at bay. Kind of taking a look at some of the items we do see. Super Marco missing one so far, so not too bad. Brody as well. So both Marksman's about to be online. They. Onik trying not Onik. to go home empty handed. Definitely not. They want to take us the long haul. They want to keep everybody up late tonight, and I'm okay with it now because Onik <laughs> is up. And I didn't want to see a sweep. I was getting a little tired, but that's okay. But wait a second. In the top side, Albert taking a little bit too oh, much no. damage. In trouble. Few no. gets the killing the spree. Kyrie the is the next. The breath effect is online. The switch <laughs> has been flipped. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not too bad, though. It's not too bad. Two fall on the side of Onik, but Super Minions are barreling down onto AP Bryn. Oh, I mean, it's a good game. It's a good game. Onik clapping back, but AP Bryn seems to be winning in the team fight area. They just have to switch it up a little bit and be able to secure some of those neutral objectives. Now, if they can't do that, then Onik's going to constantly keep being on top. Neither base are pierced yet, and I feel like that that is going to be a big factor when one team's able to do that. We do see a little bit of a setup here. Maybe that could be the flick of the switch. You can already see that they are zoning lane so well, Trex. I will say this. This is the first time we've been this far in the game, and Onik hasn't been down about five to 10,000 gold. And they were able to defend before at a huge gold deficit. So I want to say that maybe them being even or close to AP Bren is the advantage. But here's how good AP Bren is. Even in the beginning of this game when they were down in kills, even when it felt like Onik was in control of some of the fights, AP Bren still keeps a solid gold lead. Take us through some of these items, though. Yeah, taking a look at some of the items here. Really, what I'm seeing is Fairmist just now picking up a Divine Glaive. So a little bit of magic piercing definitely going to be happening on the, the team fights. Again, Brody now has that win of nature versus that Albert does as well. Sold his boots. So... Um, uh, Super Marco sold his boots, picked up the Wind Talker. So that could be one of the biggest plays here. I mean, we're 17 minutes in, not super late game, but being able to pick that up right now is huge. Let's see what they're able to do with it here, Tracked. All right, Kyrie going to start off on the Lord. Let it reset. Altizi, per usual, just feeling the ground out, rolling around, going to get going to get position over the Lord here. Super Marco going to start to unload Keyboy. Testing the waters too. Onik very grouped up here. Sans holding the side and once again we got the signal. Oh, wait a second. A little bit of damage on a flap TZ there. We're going to be able to chip him back. Someone's got to go up and deal the with Ogwen. AP Bren. The angel back door. Non-stop. <laughs> just harassing. God, that's annoying. You got to feel it for Onik right now. I mean, if they we gotta feel keep... like it's annoying, it's definitely annoying. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, someone go deal with Angela again. You know? <laughs> you as well. You mentioned the, desi the Divine Glaive earlier. Here's the thing about the Faramines. Yeah. In the begin Oh, wait a second. A lot of damage. Uh -oh. The Taunt does lock down. Flap TZ gets the heart guard, but it might not do enough. Colt Alter to try to help seal the deal. But still, Flap TZ taking a lot of damage. There's the Minoan's Whoa, Fury. Albert. Onyx trying to collapse. Ooh. Albert able to find Super Marco. Sans picking up the kill. Few now on the run. AP Bren for the first time. Shucking back. Shot back <laughs> in three <laughs> series. Shooken down. Onik taking control of the Lord Pit, but look at Kyle Teasy, man. Look at him. He's still going to try to go for this. Flap Teasy with oh, him. Is no, AP Bren going to finally mm. back off? They decide to. Onik going to take the second Lord. What happened there in our break time? Onik now online. They're putting it to AP. Oh, look at the final slash. I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything, though. 
Five TZ getting some nice chip damage. Kyle T's in a little bit of trouble, getting way too locked up. Finally taken down from the wow. appraisers. Wrath Son able to pop the black shoes. Onik moving in onto the inhibitor. Lord hasn't even showed up yet, but they're gonna break down this base. Onik not trying to go home too early. Got their eyes on the prize here. Lord to make his way down the mid side. Onik ready to fight. Yeah, I mean, I'm super surprised with how much damage they're outputting at this point. I think it's just they're utilizing and baiting quite a bit of the utility via AP Brain, but the siege is happening. Boots moving in for the final slash, able to connect onto one. Oakwind goes down, no heart guard for the team, that means. And now, Flap T's in a little bit of trouble as well. Boots finally getting his revenge on it, oh, getting onto the base, and that is it. It's not match point Sheesh. till Onyx says it is. <laughs> Onyx. Not one to leave the stadium empty-handed. Takes one on AP Bryn. Man, what a battle. Utilization of the Bashia and the Angela wasn't enough. The bees have Oof. fallen in one match. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have another hour to the next game. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go back to the drawing board, kind of taking a look at some of these highlights that went down. The first blood going on in the 